Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Elijah from Bardstown, Kentucky asks, If Jesus is our true king, does that mean we don't have to listen to earthly leaders? You know, Elijah, I'm glad you recognize that, that Jesus is our true king. That's what we saw today in the Bible story when the Israelites wanted an earthly king, and that was their way of rejecting God as their king. And so it's important that we understand that God is ultimately our king, that he's given us Jesus, and he is our true leader. But God has also given us earthly leaders, earthly rulers. Uh, we have governments, we have police, we have teachers and so forth, others in authority over us. And all of these people are in authority based on God giving them authority. And so yes, God wants us to respect them. He wants us to obey our leaders. That's important because when we do that, we're showing that we obey and trust God who has given them to us. But there's one little wrinkle we have to be aware of, that we are to obey our earthly leaders as long as they obey God. There may be times when an earthly leader would tell us to do something that is disobeying God. And again, for us, that is very, very rare, but it can happen. And in a time like that, what we need to do is we need to pray about this first to make sure we are understanding the situation right, but then we are to choose to obey God rather than an earthly leader if, again, listen to this, if and only if that earthly leader tells us to do something that is not in obedience to God. So obey our leaders unless they tell us to do something that is disobeying God. And again, that's gonna be rare if you ever experience that. So here's a question back for you. How does God being in control of our leaders help you respect them and obey them more?